welcome back. It's a little cold out right now, but it's a beautiful backdrop. So today's video is a good one. Um, let me show you. This is my rattle paddle. It's a paddle and it rattles. Hence the name rattle paddle. So that's what we're gonna be talking about for the first part of this video is rattle paddles, how to use them and why I use this specific one, which is the color yellow. So let's start with some basics really quick and talk about cows because that's what I mostly haul as cows. So cows have around them what we call a flight zone. And for you and me, it would be like our personal bubble or personal space. Depending on if the cow is together in a herd or by themselves, this flight zone can increase or decrease. If a cow is by itself, the flight zone will actually be pretty large. But if the cow is in a herd, the flight zone will actually be really, really small. Almost no flight zone, actually. And then in the last part of this video, you'll see as I'm unloading these calves, since they're all bunched together, I can get, really, I can get right up on the cow. So since I can get really close to the cows when their flight zone is almost non-existent, that forces me to have to use a paddle to get them to break apart and get off the trailer. And you'll see in several parts of the video where I will take my paddle and I'll put it almost right up to the cow's face. I may even touch the cow's face to push it back. Um, when they're in a big herd, I can use my paddle to separate the herd in half and I push the first half of the herd out. And then the last half will usually, for the most part, follow very easily. And I'm using the word herd in reference to each compartment in my trailer. And this video is going to be a really good demonstration of that. Now, that's, those are the basics about the flight zone. Cows have a bubble around them and you can use a paddle to penetrate that bubble and to move them where you want them to go. Why do I use the color yellow? Well, it's uh, kind of an interesting story. So a couple years ago, I was in Texas. So I was still driving my silver truck before it went into the shop for maintenance and repairs and a paint job. I was in Texas, me and, oh, there's probably 10 trucks there. We were loading around 350 to 400 total head uh, to go down to a kill plant. Sorry, it's super windy. Hope the camera doesn't shake too much. Well, because most of the guys that work in this industry are like, you know, dudes, uh, wearing bright colors is not something that they do. But there was this one old boy who had on the brightest yellow shirt I've ever seen in my life. And as we're trying to move these cows through the lot and into the uh, alleyway, the alleyway is a long length of space between the chute and a whole bunch of other little pens and, and what you do is you push the cattle into an alleyway so they, that you can then run it into the chute and into your trailer. Well this old old dude was standing at the end of the alleyway right in front of the chute wearing the brightest yellow shirt and the sun was beaming down on it and we couldn't get these cows to move for the life of us like what what the heck is going on why are they not moving and then I realized that this guy was wearing that yellow shirt. And most of the time we're wearing darker or neutral colors. My preference is for neutral colors. I do occasionally really enjoy blue. But when I saw that he was wearing that bright yellow shirt, you know, we kind of asked him to move. And then the cows went through the alleyway and into the chute really, really easy. And we were able to get loaded. And it was at that moment that I realized that there was a or something I was missing between the relationship with color and cattle, pushing them, stimulating them, maybe they have fear. So later that day, I had a moment, I looked up cow's vision. What colors can a cow see? And then I realized that cows cannot actually see the color red. So if a cow can't see the color red, what does that exactly mean? So let's get into a little bit of some soft science real quick. 
So you, the viewer, and me, Dallas, since we are humans, we have three photoreceptors in our eye. Photoreceptor cells. We have millions of them, but we have three types that allow us to see what we call the visible light spectrum. This visible light spectrum ranges from red all the way to like purples and violets. So we call each of these uh, wavelengths a color, red and orange and yellow, light green, green, light blues, blues, violets, and purples. But what that means is that light has a wavelength. And when you measure the top of the wavelength, depending on the distance of that wavelength, if it's long or short, we assign it a color. So a longer wavelength would be red. A medium wavelength would be yellows and greens. Short wavelengths are blues, violets, purples, things like that. So cows and most of the Bovinae family are missing the photoreceptor that allows them to visually see long wavelengths of light. And that long wavelength is the color red. What we call the color red, we've assigned it a word and, and a name and we call that long wavelength the color red. But cows have photoreceptors that allow them to process medium and shorter wavelengths of light, yellows, greens, and blues. And in my experience, they can see, the cows can predominantly see the color green and blue, but they can also see the color yellow. So after my experience in Texas with <laughs> that old trucker wearing that really bright yellow shirt, um, I realized that I'm going to try moving to a yellow paddle. Um, most of the stuff that you find out here is red. Uh, red or green. And, well, it's kind of pointless to use a red paddle if cows and the Bovinae family are missing the photoreceptor that allows them to process longer wavelengths of light, i.e., the color red and some oranges. So what I did is, after discovering this little tidbit of information, I went to the place where I buy my paddles and I found a yellow one. I'd seen them before. They're not very common. It's very uncommon to find a yellow paddle. But I found a yellow paddle and I bought a yellow paddle and I used my yellow paddle. And what I can tell you from experience, after having used red paddles and green paddles and blue paddles and yellow paddles is that cows really can't see the color red. It's more like a brown. But what they can see is the color yellow and they can see it very well. And I love my yellow paddle. So if you work with livestock, if you are a current livestock hauler, I would highly recommend that you hunt yourself down a yellow paddle and you will notice that you will have a different experience. And you're gonna see that in the video now here shortly as we, as I cut to me unloading these gabs. And my experience with a, rattle, with a yellow rattle paddle has been the same across all of the cows, whether it is calves, feeders, big bulls, uh, you know, angry Nevada heifers off of a some ranch that have never seen a human before they all respond to the color yellow really well they can see it it's very visual for them it stimulates them when it penetrates their flight zone they move the way you want them to move and you're going to see in this video i will physically take my paddle and i will swing a calf around it'll be a good learning experience for those of you that want to learn and for those of you that are just curious so my point here is that where the flight zone and color and paddles all cross, right in the center is me not getting my shit kicked in because I've had that happen. And uh, it's been a lot easier to deal with cows and livestock in general using the color yellow. So enjoy the video. <laughs>
squeeze past you. Get out of here. Come on, cows.
perfect. Okay. Some good looking future steak right here. Come on. Come on. They go down easier when I have the gel closed. Come on. Watch your foot. Calm down. Come on. Gotta fish them out sometimes, just like that. Come on. Put that away. Get out of here. Come on, cows, get out of there. <sighs> Whatever, I'll come get you. Can you turn around? Come on. Get. Come on. Come on.
ready for my fat load. Thank you for watching everybody. I appreciate it. See you in the next one.